is LT Fishing 26. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today we will be fishing for some bass, maybe some crappie, and we'll see how it goes. Whatever we catch, really. Um, so I'm gonna be fishing with a popper. I'm not sure exactly what brand this is. I'm fishing with the crankbait. Yeah, he's fishing with the crankbait. Um, we'll probably be fishing for crappie too, a little bit. It's whatever really bites, really, right? All right. It's like, I'd say it's like 45 degrees right now in the middle of fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a good feeling about the popper and the crappy side of today. Or just any moving baits, really. Oh, got a little bite there. The other day, Tom almost caught his uh, personal record bass. It was like a three pound, like right off the dock, like right there, right there. What? You have to reel for it to sink. You know, I'll save the top water for later. Oh, from over there on that side of the shore cats. That's, that shore is always good for top water if you like, you know? Oh, that's not good. That's not that bad. I'm fishing with the Luz Mach 2, and I've had this for about three or four months. What? I'm going to use the crappie cider for a little bit and see if I can catch, catch a crappie or even a bass, whatever, really. Oh, oh yeah. Got my uh, Shakespeare reel with, the, yeah, I thought the elegant stick. Tom broke it on that bench right there. <laughs> Remember that, Tom? Oh. oh, God dang. I'm out of line. I have, like, no line on this. I have no line on this. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I have no line. Let's see if we can get a bite or something. The bass eat bluegill here all year long, even in the winter during ice fishing. Like, that's like all they eat. <laughs> Here, Tom, change that to a soft plastic. We can see if we can, uh, let's walk the shoreline. I have like literally 20 yards of line on this. Yeah. All right, guys, I just got my topwater buzz bait here. Pickle, green color. This corner always right here is always usually a good spot. And the bass always blow up over here, like three and four pounders, like big. There's like a big hole right in, right in the middle right there. And it's like, it drops like 10 foot deep. So usually there's a lot of fish here on these shallow banks. Whew. Usually there's a lot of fish.
Oh, missed one, missed one, missed one, missed one. There's fish over there. He missed it. Got one. Got one, Tom! It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice one. I think about two feels. He feels pretty good. Oh, yeah, easy two. Tom, got one! Okay. Let me get him here. Choked it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Top of the lip. Or top of the mouth. Tom! Look! Yeah, yeah, two and a half. Two, yeah? It's a nice bass. Look at that. Come on, Tom, let's go! Nice bass. He choked it. It was like fully in his mouth. Nice fish. Nice fish. Um, we'll wait here for one second for Tom to come so we can get a short. Um, I think this is probably a solid... Solid two, maybe two and a half. Beautiful fish, beautiful. All right, you ready? I'm gonna need to create a quick short. Yeah, he choked it. All right, guys, we're going back around the pond now to uh, see if the bass can back up on the shore. We were walking here, there's a big one right there and we didn't even see it. Oh no, because it's really shallow right there and I didn't th think that it'd be all the way up here. That was a bad cast. Whew. I don't know what Tom what Tom's doing over there, but he's doing something. Let me get back down to the better spot. And over here. The water rocks right there. Hopefully one comes up. No? Alrighty. Usually there's a lot of bass over here. Here, but it should be back. Okay. Wonder where they're at. I might change to a soft plastic for a while in a little bit and see if they want some of that. I'm gonna take like three or four more casts and then I'm gonna head back and tie on the plastic lure. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We're almost at 100 subscribers. And see you for the next vid.